Penangita Chinese are Malaysians of full or partial Chinese ancestry who either hail from or live within the state of Penang. As of 2017, nearly 40% of Penang's population were of Chinese ethnicity, making the Chinese the second largest ethnic community within the state. Most are the descendants of laborers and immigrants from southern China who moved to the Malay Peninsula between the 18th and 20th centuries. By the mid-19th century, Georgetown, the capital city of Penang, was home to a significant Peranakan community, also known as the King's Chinese due to their loyalty to the British Crown. Under British colonial rule, Penang continued to experience increasing Chinese immigration throughout the 19th century. As most Chinese in Penang came from Fujian province, home to the Hokkien dialect, Penang Hokkien was gradually developed and is now widely used by Penangites for daily communication. Penang's Chinese have been well represented within Malaysia and also internationally in various professional, political, economic and other fields. To date, Penang is the only state in Malaysia where the position of the chief minister, who leads the state government, has been continuously held by an ethnic Chinese since independence. Renowned figures, including Jimmy Chu and Nicol David, hailed from Penang and have contributed greatly in raising the country. S profile internationally. In Mandarin, Penangita Chinese clearly distinguish themselves as full Chinese S -wa -ren, T -wa -ren, P -waren, rather than overseas Chinese S -wa -yi, T -wa -yi, Pin. Hua Yi, S -wa -chow, T -wa -chow, Pin. Huakiao. Similarly, Penangita Chinese typically refer to themselves as Tian, Jilang in Penang Hokkien. In English parlance within Penang, Penangita Chinese are simply referred to as Chinese. Topic History. Topic Chinese sailors had explored the seas off Penang Island as early as the 15th century. During the Ming Dynasty, Chinese seafarers led by Admiral Zheng He sailed the length of the Malacca Straits. Penang Island may have appeared in the nautical charts of Zheng He. However, it was only sometime in the 18th century when the Chinese began to arrive on Penang Island. It was recorded that the fishing village of Tanjung Tokong on the northern coast of the island was founded by Zhang Li, a sailor whose arrival on Penang Island preceded that of Captain Francis Light by at least a few decades. After the British East India Company under Captain Francis Light founded Georgetown in 1786, ethnic Chinese began to move to Penang in increasing numbers. In particular, the Peranakans, who already had established themselves along the western coast of the Malay Peninsula, shifted to Penang. This, coupled with the greater number of newer immigrants from China throughout the 19th century, effectively made the Chinese the largest ethnic group in Penang by the 1850s. At the time, there were differences between the Straits Chinese, a term which included the Peranakans, and the new Chinese arrivals, known as Sinka, Xin Ke New Guest. Having resided for generations within the Malay Peninsula, the Straits Chinese typically spoke a creole consisting of Hokkien and Malay, which gradually grew into Penang Hokkien. The Peranakans had also developed a distinct hybrid culture infusing Malay and Chinese influences, and were more loyal to the British crown than the Chinese mainland, thus earning the sobriquet, the King's Chinese. On the other hand, most of the newer China-born Sinka started off penniless and held onto their Chinese roots more strongly. Whereas the Straits Chinese were more Anglophile due to the English education system in Penang, the China-born Sinka would go on to form the first Chinese schools in Penang. As Penang grew into a major entrepot towards the end of the 19th century, the influx of various cultures and religions would create a melting pot where the multi-ethnic and multi-religious society could exist in harmony. Similarly, over time, the newer Chinese arrivals became acculturated to the existing local culture and customs due to intermarriages between the Peranakans and the Sinka. At the turn of the century, the Chinese nationalist Sun Yat-sen's campaigns to liberate China from imperial Manchu rule attracted considerable financial support from Penang's Chinese population. During World War II, ethnic Chinese in Penang suffered brutal and often violent treatment in the hands of the occupying Imperial Japanese Army. The Japanese implemented a policy known as Suk Ching, a systematic purge of perceived hostile elements, including the Chinese. Thousands of Chinese were massacred and buried in unmarked mass graves throughout Penang during the Japanese occupation period. 
Topic: Demographics. Topic: Out of the nearly 700,000 Penangita Chinese, most are concentrated on Penang Island, particularly within and around the city of Georgetown. Ethnic Chinese constitute the plurality of Penang Island. S population the 2010 Malaysian census indicated that about 53% of Penang Island S inhabitants were of Chinese descent on the island more Chinese reside within the northeastern district where Georgetown is situated compared to the less populated southwestern district the Chinese also accounted for 34.2% of the population in Seberang Parai the mainland half of the state of Penang they most commonly reside within the central and southern districts, forming a visible majority in the towns within these districts, such as Bukit Murtajam, Batu Kawan and Nibong Tabal. Language <inaudible> 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 According to the 2010 Malaysian census, up to 63.9% of Penang's Chinese population spoke Hokkien as their mother tongue. This figure likely included those with Peranakan ancestry. The second largest Chinese linguistic group in Penang was the Teochews, constituting 17.8% of Penang's Chinese community, followed by the Cantonese at 8.3%. There were also smaller Hakka and Hainanese communities throughout Penang. The resulting ubiquitous use of Hokkien has made Penang Hokkien the lingua franca among Penangites. Penang Hokkien, which originated from a subdialect of Zhengzhou Hokkien, incorporated several Malay and English terms over the centuries, eventually evolving into a distinct Hokkien dialect used mainly in northern Malaysia. Uniquely for Penang, this localized Hokkien Creole is spoken by many Penangites regardless of race for daily communication, so much so that even local police officers also take courses in Penang Hokkien. More recently, Penang Hokkien has also been popularized in mass media, particularly through books, dictionaries and movies, due in part to the desire to maintain the dialect's relevance in the face of increasing influence of Mandarin and English amongst the younger generations. Besides Penang Hokkien and Mandarin, the latter of which has been used as a medium of instruction in Chinese schools in Penang, Cantonese, Teochew and Hakka are spoken by smaller numbers of Chinese as well. In general, these communities arrived in Penang after the Hokkians had already established themselves within the colony in the early 19th century. The Cantonese and Hakka communities, in particular, would go on to predominate parts of Georgetown towards the end of the 19th century, while a significant number of Teochews were also employed in the agricultural industries within the then province Wellesley now Seberang Parai. To this day, many of the Teochews continue to reside in the towns of Seberang Parai, such as Butterworth, Bukit Murtajam and Batu Kawan. In addition, all Penangites are conversant with Malay, the national language of Malaysia, as the language is made compulsory in all schools in Penang. A legacy of British rule is the existence of several English and missionary schools throughout Penang, which also contributes to the relatively high level of English proficiency among Penangites. Culture Cuisine Along with other races, the Chinese have greatly influenced Penang's street cuisine, one of the more famous culinary styles in Southeast Asia. Penang is famous for its variants of Chinese dishes, including char kui tiao, hokkien mi and chi chung fun. These are in addition to the famous Assam laksa, a local variant of the Peranakan fusion dish, which was ranked 7th in CNN's list of the world's 50 best dishes. Festivals <inaudible> 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 Some of the major Chinese cultural celebrations in Penang include the Chinese New Year, Lantern Festival, and Mid-Autumn Festival. The largest of all is the Chinese New Year, which includes a number of festivities and observances which are unique to Penang. For instance, the Jade Emperor's birthday, also known colloquially as the Hokkien New Year, falls on the eighth day of Chinese New Year and is widely observed in Penang. Chinese New Year festivities in Penang also include the traditional lighting up of the iconic Kek Lok Si Temple, a fire watching 
Ceremony in the Snake Temple and open houses by several ornate Chinese clan houses within Georgetown. S. UNESCO World Heritage Site – Wisak Day is celebrated by the Buddhists with a massive procession by Buddhist associations and temples based in Penang, with floats depicting both Mahayana and Theravada strains. The Taoists observe Qing Ming and the Hungry Ghost Festival, both to honor their departed relatives and friends. The Christians, meanwhile, observe Christmas and Easter, with the Catholics also observing the St. Anne's Novena for ten days at the St. Anne's Church in Bukit Murtajam. Topic. Chingay performance Topic. Chingay parades were said to have originated in Penang in the early 20th century, before spreading to the rest of peninsular Malaysia and Singapore. The Penang variant of the Chingay parade includes a giant flag balancing act on one's forehead. Since the 1950s, an annual Chingay parade has been held within the city of Georgetown every December, in a bid to retain this unique cultural practice. Topic. Landmarks Topic. Chinese and Peranakan architecture in Penang Topic. Education Topic. Most Penangita Chinese today either go to a Chinese school, a national school or SMK or a missionary school. In recent years, international schools, which traditionally cater to Penang's expatriate community, are also increasingly popular among Penangites themselves. As a result, Penangita Chinese are multilingual, with the ability to converse in Malay, English, and either Mandarin or another Chinese dialect, typically the individual's mother tongue. Due to the strong English education system that was established by the British in Penang, many Penangites, especially those who went to missionary schools, are able to maintain at least a reasonable command of English. Mandarin has also been increasingly used by the younger generations, as it is the medium of instruction in Chinese schools throughout the state. Topic. Chinese schools Topic. Georgetown served as the nucleus of Malaysia's Chinese education system, when in 1904, Chung Hua Confucian School was established. It was the first Chinese school to be built in British Malaya, as well as the first to use Mandarin as its medium of instruction. To this day, Chinese schools in Penang maintain a reputation for academic excellence. The Chinese secondary schools in Penang, both public and private, are as listed below. Chung Hua Confucian School, established in 1904, is one of the oldest formal Chinese schools in Southeast Asia. It also became the first to use Mandarin as the medium of instruction instead of other Chinese dialects. Chung Ling High School, founded in 1917, was the alma mater of Ka Boon Wan, Lee Kun Choi and Ko Su Kun. Han Chang High School JIT Sin High School Penang Chinese Girls High School Union High School Convent Datuk Karamat Forte High School, established in 1940, was the first Buddhist school in Malaysia. Heng E High School Sacred Heart High School List of Penangita Chinese The list includes Penangites of partial Chinese descent. A Niu, 1976, singer. Andrea Fonseca, 1984, Miss Universe Malaysia 2004. Chan Pung Soon, 1988, badminton player and silver medalist in the 2016 Summer Olympics. Chu Chun Eng, 1976, badminton player. Chin Yi Wei, 1982, badminton player. Danny Kwa, 1958, economics professor at the National University of Singapore. David E. L. Chung, 1929 to 2011, badminton player. Eddie Chung, 1930 to 2013, badminton player. Chung Kang Kui, 1821 to 1901, founder of Taiping. His mansion is now the Penang Peranakan Mansion. Chung Thai Fin, 1879 to 1935, tin and rubber tycoon. Gu Hongming, 1857 to 1928, writer. 
Haya Hawk On 1932, badminton player Haya Ju Siang 1962 politician and business leader Jimmy Chu 1948, world-renowned shoe designer Ka Boon Wan 1952, Singapore's Coordinating Minister for Infrastructure and Minister for Transport 2015. Ko Lei Huan minus 1826, first captain in China of Penang Ko Su Kun 1949, third Chief Minister of Penang 1990 to 2008 La Chu Kiang 1970, Speaker of the Penang State Legislative Assembly 2013 Eva Lee Kwok 1942, Canadian businesswoman Lim Boon Kang 1868 to 1957, Obe, Chinese physician Lim Chong Eu 1919 to 2010, Second Chief Minister of Penang 1969 to 1990 Lim Kim Wah 1989, badminton player Pick Sen Lim 1944, British actress Lo Boon Su 1915 to 1995, first Honda distributor in Malaysia. Lo Wee Wern 1990, squash player. Angie Ng, model. Chelsea Ng 1981, actress. Irene Ng 1963, Singapore's member of parliament for Tampanese 2001 to 2015. Irene Ng 1974, American actress. Ng Tat Y, 1947, badminton player. Nicole David, 1983, one of the world's best female squash players of all time. Ui Z Liang, 1993, diver. Ong Beng He, 1980, squash player. Ong Yu Hock, 1972, badminton player. Ong Hock Thai, 1908 to 1977, judge. Sa Tiong Hin 1962, director of You Mean the World to Me, the first Penang Hokkien film Sa Yi Khy 1986, swimmer Lindel Soon 1978, Miss Tourism Malaysia 2001 Hannah Tan 1981, actress, singer-songwriter, model and television personality Tan Tuan Eng 1972, novelist T Jing Yi 1991, badminton player Wee Chong Jin 1917 to 2005 first chief justice of Singapore 1963 to 1990 Wang Pao Nei 1913 to 2002 first chief minister of Penang 1957 to 1969 Wu Lin TEH 1879 to 1960 Chinese doctor and a nominee for the Nobel Prize in Medicine 1935 Yip Chor E 1867 to 1952 Yoli Tang, American fashion designer. Ivan Yuan, 1990, squash player. Topic. See also. Topic. Penangita Indian. Topic. References. Topic.